Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's session on um, introducing iMaster NCE Campus product documentation system. From this session, you will learn about the evolution of NCE Campus, as well as where to find documentations, how to pinpoint your needs, and what tools and multimedias are available for your success. First, I'll briefly introduce the Huawei Campus solution and how our product iMaster NCE comes in. First, let's take a look at the overview of Huawei's cloud campus solution to build a fully wireless and intern-driven campus network for the Wi-Fi 6 era. The solution structure from bottom up includes the network layer, the management layer, and the application layer. At the network layer, see on the left, the bottom, the, the second bottom one, we have, for example, a Cloud Engine S-Series campus switches. For more details about the devices, you can get the information from the device materials. At the application layer from the top, NCE Campus provides open industry application development platform, SDK and API for you to use. At the network layer, uh, we have, for example, the Cloud Engine S-Series Campus switches. For more details about the devices, you can get the information from the device materials. Uh, and at the application layer on the top, like if you can see my script, probably you can understand better. Um, at the application layer on the top, NCE Campus provides open industry application development platform SDK and API for you to use. And our iMaster NCE is at the management and control layer to facilitate the digitalization of network deployment and operations. And here, um, we can see that iMaster NC Campus is an autonomous driving management and control system for the campus network. Here on the right-hand side, there are three highlights. First, NC Campus enables uh, NC Campus enables digital management from heavy experience dependency to automated management. Next, you get a fully upgraded intelligent experience from manual management to automated control. Third, now the operations and management can be visualized so that you move from passive response to automated optimization. Last but not least, on the bottom right, uh, NC Campus provides a converge space where, you can, where we can achieve system level convergence, authentication convergence, management convergence, and deployment convergence. Like we've mentioned before, NC Campus also covers full scenario. We provide full coverage from single campuses to wide area network interconnection campuses. So no matter you are a small size enterprise such as a hotel, a primary or, or secondary education campuses, or if you are a campus for higher education, governments and large enterprises, or even larger if you are financial service outlets, you can always find a scenario that fits your needs. Now you probably want to know the, the Cloud Campus solution in greater details, so let's take a look. The Cloud Campus solution includes three deployment scenarios. The on-premise scenario on the left, the Huawei pub public cloud scenario in the middle, and the MSP-owned cloud scenario on the right. So for the on-premise scenario, enterprise customers purchase, purchase and own software entities. For the Huawei public cloud scenario, so we see on the left are the on-premise scenario where you can buy and own the, own the software entities. And in the middle, the Huawei public cloud scenario, Huawei operates the public cloud and customers do not need to purchase the controller or the ana analyzer software. Instead, the customers purchase Huawei's cloud management network service. And then on the right, for the MSP-owned cloud scenario, the MSPs purchase the software and is responsible for the network operations and management. So before we dive into the documentation system, let's take a look at a one-page summarized NCE Campus brand evolution, which hopefully will make it clear for you why does the iMaster NCE is correlated to two distinct solutions. So here, let's, let's focus on the timeline, actually the version timeline, uh, not the years, but the versions on the bottom. Probably I should open, um, yeah, so everyone can see my see, see, see where I'm pointing at. 
So before the V1 R3, the product is called uh, Agile Controller Campus. And before the V3 R19 C00, one solution is called uh, Cloud Campus at AC Campus, and the other solution is called SD1 at AC Campus. And before R21 C00, one solution is called iMaster NCE Campus, and the other solution is called iMaster NCE1. And from the R21 C C10 on, Campus and One officially merge together into the iMaster NCE Campus. This is why One product is corresponding to the two solutions, and we'll see this later in the documentation system. Some clients are still using the old versions, and these versions will, will gradually evolve into the new one. And the next page. Finally, reaching our main topic for today's session, the introduction to NCE Campus documentation system. So there are two ways to obtain the NCE Campus documentation. Let me actually show you how to do this. Uh, let me share everything. Yeah. Yeah, so I think uh, everybody can see here. Um, so this is our documentation homepage. And when you get in, you have two ways to, to get the documentations. One way is from the product side, and the other way is from the solution side. Oh, uh, somebody says, uh, hope we share the slides to everyone via email. Yeah, definitely. Just uh, leave your email and your contact information, so we'll send it to you. Um, the network management control analysis here, if you click in from here, see there's a lot of products down here. And um, we are the iMaster NCE campus. You click here, you comes in, and see there's um. Let's look at the full uh the full documentations right here. Uh, on the on the left, here's SD one SD one solution and the Cloud Campus solution. This is uh this is what I said before. Uh, SD one and Cloud Campus are now are now combined into the are now combined into the iMaster NCE campus. And let's go back to the previous page. Mm. Let's go back to the previous page. Yeah, here, come back to the home page, and you can come in from the solution side, the enterprise network solution. And you see here, here's a Cloud Campus solution, and here's the SD1. So let's use the Cloud Campus solution as an example. Actually, they, they look pretty alike. And um, you come into here and look at here. Here's a Cloud Campus product documentation. Basically, everything on this page is about the solution itself. And you click in, and now you see everything is about the Cloud Campus solution. If you click on the SD1, it's the same thing. It's the same thing the other way around. So um, let's go back to let's go back to our demo. Let's come back to our PowerPoint. Here. And since the documentation system for the two solutions are pretty similar, we'll use the Cloud Campus solution as an example. The documentation provides a full life cycle guidance from solution planning to the actual installation, deployment, and configuration guide to the after work, maintenance, and troubleshooting. So let's briefly go over these four parts. The first part, the part one, is solution planning, the one on the top left. The one on top left is solution planning, which provides a high-level design guide that covers all scenarios and key service features of the solution. These, doc these documents are mainly used in the pre-sales communication. The second one is deployment, which includes guides from all kinds of aspects that fit your needs. The installation guide on the, on the middle top is the installation guide. Can everyone uh, see where I'm pointing? Probably, um, yeah, I'll use this to show you. Uh, this is the in, uh, installation guide under uh, deployment. It shows you the software and hardware requirements for the NC controller installation. Um, and down here is the deployment guide. 
The deployment guide provides you um, a detailed network design and comprehensive underlay and overlay service deployment guide for the lower level design. And the best practice is an end-to-end -end guide that shows you examples directly taken from the actual sites. And last but not least, the typical configuration example works as a dictionary that provides configuration cases targeted at the flexible scenarios to help you customize your needs. And over here is the maintenance guide. For maintenance guide, there's a common maintenance operations that you proactively uh, maintenance your, uh, your network. And there's also troubleshooting and emergency uh, maintenance. And, the, and we also have a lot of other tools to help you. We have tools of searching, querying, and, uh, and multimedias. And let's go to the next page. So here in the middle, let's see here in the middle, there's a lot of things over here. Here in the middle, we can see the landscape menu of our documents. If we look closer, we'll see that you can actually be divided into the front, middle, and end part for your um, for your entire journey. Uh, in other words, the front is planning, the middle is the deployment, and the and the end is the maintenance. This allows you to get the end-to-end -end guide while using our product. So on the front end, oh, like we just have said before, we have product description and solution description. Then we have a design guide that's on the top one line. Like we didn't unfold it, it's right here. It says Cloud Campus Solution Design Guide. Um, it's very short, but it shows you how to make your plan before you get your hands dirty uh, during the next step, installation and deployment. So in terms of planning, we provide suggestions in which, in which plan you should use. For example, it depends on whether you are a big campus or a small campus, uh, which kind of network better suits your needs. So everything on the bottom here are the installation plan, which you can look into it and plan your network and as well as the per parameters. So that's number one and number two. And number three is the installation guide. The installation guide different from the installation plan. The guide is the step-by-step -step, uh, companion for you. Think of the installation plan as a problem, problem solving ideas. And the guide is how to solve your problem step by step. And the number four, five, six, seven, I have marked it in red, are the things you need to do after installation, which is deployment. We have provided you a multi-angled guidance package, which includes deployment guide, best practice, and a ton of typical configuration examples. And after deployment is the number eight, comes after we have done with the deployment, that is maintenance. So we do maintenance on the daily, monthly, and weekly basis, and we also have a bandit solutions for emergency tr troubleshooting. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, are all in our doc documentations. I can show you, if you don't mind, um, I will, I will quickly, actually just go into our documentations and show you the actual thing. Yeah, can everybody see here? Here's the documentation guide and um, and learn about the solutions and planning on the on the left and planning and installation solution deployment guide solution best practice and the and the, the afterworks maintenance and troubleshooting. Here you can find everything in our support, support website. Now let's go back to the to the PowerPoint. So I assume you still remember the number five six seven from the pre previous page. Um, here are the three levels of deployment guide. The the best practice are the comprehensive real examples we get from the live network, live sites. They're all real scenarios. Using the best practice, you can fulfill 50% of the standard deployment needs. And the next one are typical configuration examples. So what are the difference, you may ask? Since the campus scenarios are too diverse, um, it's likely that the best practice cannot cover everything. So we have provided you more than 100 typical uh, configurations. 
which you can use them with very big uh, flexibility. You can make your own flexible combination scenarios to fit your actual needs. One thing to note is that uh, our typical configuration, configuration examples are constantly adding and refreshing. Some of them comes from our experts. Some of them are actually come from you. So we collect these voices and put them into the guide for future use. So definitely contact us, contact us if you think your examples are valuable and your example may be collected into our, uh, our typical, typical configuration examples and be put in the documents. So if there's still anything not covered in the two books I just said, um, we have another one available for you. Uh, that is the configuration guide. So if the previous two books feels like uh, reading a novel or an essay, the configuration guide is more similar to a dictionary where it provides you everything you need and, and in, in great details. So now let's get into, into these guides one by one. The first one is design guide. The design guide is targeting high level design for campus projects. There are three books that covers uh, different scenarios. The large and medium sized campus network design guide. Let's see here. The large and medium sized campus network design guide for virtual and non-virtual and small and medium sized uh, campus network design guide. And here is a manual for it. For, uh, from the, I think it's from the, uh, a large and medium sized virtualization scenario. And here, uh, inside our documentations, we provide over, overall network architecture design, the underlay network design, overlay network design, and WLAN design. And here's an installation guide. The installation guide uh, also uh, provides you the guidance to uh, NCE software installation. And there's a very helpful little tool, it's called EasyGet. EasyGet, you can just put into uh, like whether you are a carrier or enterprise and select iMaster NCE campus and the product version and then confirm. And it will show you everything you need, the software packages and the documentations, then you can you can just um, download the ones you need. I think this one's wor worth showing as well. Let's see here. Yeah, can everybody see my screen? Um, let's say uh, you, you select enterprise here. And the solution is uh, iMaster NC campus. And select the product version. Uh, V3 R21 C10. Okay, everything else the same. Click confirm. And it quickly just shows you everything you need, the software packages and the documentations. And you can just apply, apply for the software package. And you can just download the documentation that related to 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 this. You you don't need to go to the support, uh, to the support homepage and browse through everything you need. Um, browse through everything. You can just go through. Um, you can just use this little tools to to directly hit the hit the documentations that that you re that you want. And let's go back to the PowerPoint. Yeah. So this is the installation guide and the easy get. And after that is the deployment guide. The de basically, the deployment guide explains the solution planning and design in detail and provides guidance for service configurations. The usage is to support the low-level design and service deployment for campus projects. There are four books over here on the, on the left, you can see here. And um, if we want to see it in details, there's outline example uh, outline example a very detailed solution design and there's an outline example for detailed solution deployment and the deployment guide also um, also lets you compare um, uh, also lets you compare uh, different ways to deploy it and suggest you a better one 
uh, this one is also for deployment. Like we said before, best practice is like reading a novel and the uh, and the typical configurations are like reading an essay and the configuration guide is like uh, reading a dictionary. So here's our best practice. It takes from the real site, um, provides you end to end configuration guides. So basically you can just copy the standard, the standard deployment uh, scenarios if that suits your needs. The usage is to support solution design, service configuration, and network optimization. The highlights is that it provides best practice for typical baseline scenarios. About 50% can be covered. So let's see here, some, scenario, some are scenario-specific best practice, and some are feature-specific best practice. For scenario-specific best practice, there's like, um, it starts from, from the planning and an end to the uh, to to the entire deployment. So here's the solution introduction, the data plan with charts and tables, the configuration procedures. Um, it provides you the optimal roadmap uh, among the three roadmaps, and the configuration guide, the NCE, uh, NCE, uh, uh, graphical user face, graphical user interface based guidance. And here for the feature specific best practice. Uh, you probably want to ask what's the difference. The feature specific is that there's some uh, very uh, complicated and sophisticated feature um, feature scenarios that we specifically take it out to to show you how how to deploy. And the next one is the typical configuration examples. So if the best practice cannot provide you everything you want. Uh, you have flexibility to use this typical configuration example to fill the to fill the gaps. Basically, this explains how to configure flexible networking. Here's also uh, here's also uh, the description, the configuration roadmap, the data plan, and the configuration pr uh, procedures. After deployment is the maintenance guide. So the maintenance guide, um, so we can use the maintenance guide to guide the operations and management after the product delivery. To highlights for the maintenance guide is that, one, we have the guidance for common network operations on daily, monthly, uh, daily, weekly, and monthly basis for you so that you can proactively detect and, and avoid problems before they become actual problems. And we also provide you with troubleshooting cases and emergency maintenance. For emergency maintenance, it's usually problems that affect a wide range and requires high attention. For example, the network need to be fixed within three to 10 minutes. The troubleshooting is for small, uh, smaller problems that probably affecting only like one or two small areas or the problems specific to some uh, certain features. You can read the troubleshooting guide to have it fixed. So you can see that both proactive and passive cases are covered in the maintenance guide. And after all the, all the paper documentations, we also have rich media materials. Here's IP Tech Talk and the configuration and commissioning videos that uh, the first one introduced key technologies of Cloud Campus, expert presentation and animation. And the second one describes the common NC campus configuration and commissioning operations on the GUI. It actually like shows you where you should click and uh, where you should look at. And, and in the end, we have some general documents, resources, and tools for you to use. So the first one is InfoFinder. The new version of InfoFinder is a one-stop shop where you can get the integrated information all in, all in one platform. The reason we have developed this platform is that flipping around the documents and going through the indexes are tiring and slow. We know that. And searching and a certain engine can help. Um, so um, I also want to show you guys uh, how to use this. So let me let me have it open. Yeah, can everybody see this? Here's the info finder. Actually, like behind the info finder is all of our documents. And now you, ha you have a very 
swift way to find the information you need. Let's say uh, Wi-Fi 6. Put in Wi-Fi 6 and search. So here's an ebook for Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6 advanced and like just pretty much everything with this uh, with this uh, keyword. And let's say I, uh, SRV6, SRV6, search. Yeah, so here's an a encyclopedia for the SRV6 that introduced everything to you. Like, why do we need SRV6? What is SR? How does SRV6 uh, implement network programming? And how does S, uh, SRV6 work on the network? And there's um, as a, uh, IPv6 series ebook for GSRV6 and for SRV6, and there's videos. So basically, everything is here uh, on an integrated platform, and even to the to the, the documentations with specific versions and the documentations corresponding to specific uh, devices. And we have another way to. To, to use this to use this info finder you can search by your product let's say here we see uh, imaster NC campus over here so basically everything about the imaster NC campus documentation is integrated here the specific querying you can search you can search down here um, check the boxes that that you need and the um, and check the one that you want to find. Yeah. So it helps you dive into the dives into the documentation and provides a different indexing system for the documentation. And the last one is the life cycle. You see the you see the the, the product model and the end of marketing, end of service and the life cycle status. So let's go back to the PowerPoint to, to get to know the next tool. Yeah, this is our info finder. And the next one is called NC Campus Network Designer. The good part, the good part for the network designer is that the Campus Network Designer allows you to formulate your solutions. Like showed here on the PowerPoint, you can design your network, your data plan, and um, and export and export the report to support for further steps. You select like which one you need, the, the product type. Is it a, a traditional network, a, a virtualized network, or a non-virtualized network? And you select um, the network architecture, like whether it's a layer two, layer three, and a layer three, layer two and layer three hybrid. Basically, you select, you put several selection, and then it can export to, to you uh, your your design map, very helpful tools. And we also have a pre-sales documentation bookshelf. Basically, when you go into this bookshelf, you see everything, uh, everything, uh, every pre-sales doc pre documents that you need. The pre-sales documents are, are typically the ones that describes the, uh, describes the values and the, and the, the uh, higher end, the higher end configuration and parameters. So after all the uh, after all the uh, documents, multimedia and tools, there's um, there's also ways to contact us. Uh, the method one is to leave message on the website. Under each page of our documentations, there's a there's a part to let you put put down your feedback. You put on your feedback and you put on your contact information and then uh, submit su hit submit. And uh, our engineers will get back to you within two days and uh, get the question closed in, within 10 days. And method two is to visit the enterprise interactive community. And method three is to send email to the documentation at Huawei.com to, uh, to get your questions answered.
So hopefully, um, hopefully, uh, hope you have enjoyed this session. Like we have a lot of like uh, flipping around, and but uh, overall, I have showed uh, everything I, I want to show you, and hopefully, you have get to know the NCE I Master NCE Campus Documentation System better. Yeah, thank you. I'll pass my um, I'll pass my control back to the moderator. Okay, now let's thanks Miss Xin for sharing. Now, if you have any question, please leave them in the chat box. Okay, now you can leave the question in the chat box. Or Jingyuan, maybe you can give some questions and our user will answer them. Okay. Yeah, so for everyone still here, we have several sm small questions. Like if you have listened to the, uh, you have, if you have listened to today's session, you can probably answer the questions. And for these answerings, uh, we have some little gifts to, to give out. Um, yes. Yeah, so the first question, I guess um, I'll put it in the chat box and see if, ever, see if, if, if anyone knows it, okay? Let me let me put it in the chat box. Okay, everyone can look at the chat box and answer this question. Okay. So um, I also read the questions. Uh, starting from which version are iMaster NCE Campus and iMaster NCE One merge into one product? Probably uh, you guys are our clients, so you are using the 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 campus the iMaster NC right now and you have used the 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 AC campus before and do you know whether oh I've sent it to I've sent it to somebody oh let me let me send it to everyone can everybody see it so starting from which version are iMaster NC campus and iMaster NC one Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Thorin's got the uh, got the answer. Please visit the Pakistan. I want to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's move. Let's move on to the next one. What are the two entry points for obtaining the iMaster NCE campus documentations? For a hint, I'll actually uh, I'll actually share my screen. For for a hint, let's see right here. It's our first page. Um, what are the two ways to visit our to to Oh, info finder. Somebody said info finder. Lawrence, um, can everybody see my screen? Yeah, um, it's not info finder. It's the one. Uh, it's the one from the yeah. It's from the Huawei uh Huawei support homepage. Yeah, like one is from the iMaster NCE under the network management control and analysis, and the other one and the other way in is from the enterprise network solution and hit the cloud campus solution. Remember that? And let's go, yeah. Uh, And let's go into the third question. Yeah, enterprise network. And the third question, this is actually the third one. Which tool can be used to quickly obtain software packages? Oh, everybody say info finder, not the info finder. Uh, it's, it's starting from easy. It's starting with easy. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, easy get. Asset, uh, Asset Wakor. Is that your name? Uh, is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah, you got it. And um, I guess the next one is probably the one everybody's waiting. Let's see who who is the who is the the fastest one. Which tool can be used to obtain the specific specifications of iMaster and Z find campus? Yeah, right. Tim, Tim is the first one. Info Finder. Yay, this one's easy. Like I feel like everybody's saying Info Finder. <laughs> Hopefully you have a very very deep impression for Info Finder now. It's actually really good to use. So the fifth question and the the last question is uh how can how can feedback be provided on documentations? There are three ways there are three ways to to provide feedback. Yeah, there are three methods. Feedback page, right? Kashaf got it. Feedback page, email, yeah, on the document bottom, yeah. So there's there's three of them. The uh, the feedback page on the bottom of each documentation page and the community, the enterprise community, and uh, and contact email. There are three ways to contact us. Comment session, yeah, right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll pass it back to Jiang Yi. Okay, now, due to the limit, limited time, if you have any questions, please comment them in the community post. Oh, we will there's a uh, to you later. Okay. There's a few more. Uh, there's a few more questions, and mm -hmm. and people are uh, that people are asking. Let me uh have have them answered. Okay. Let me okay. have them answered. Yes. Hmm. The first one is, uh, is there a difference between the NCE campus and NCE iMaster? So basically, the iMaster is our product brand. So iMaster NCE is the way how, how you say it. Um, and the NCE campus is, is one of the product under iMaster NCE. Uh, so under NCE, so under iMaster NCE, there's, there's other products. Uh, other than NCE campus, there's NCE like IP, NCE, uh, NCE transport, and NCE uh, others. So iMaster NCE is our brand name. And there's uh, there's another question asking what is the difference between the iMaster NCE campus and iMaster NCE campus insights. So basically, uh, campus and campus insights are two different uh, softwares. Campus is mainly mainly used for for management and control, and um, for management and control, and the campus inside is is mainly for analysis. So we have so everybody knows we have a uh, management control and analysis. So management control is on the campus side, and the analysis is on the campus inside side. And the last question, I guess, uh, I was wondering about the about report the report generation method for iMaster NC campus. What are the points considered in the iMaster NCE when generating? So <laughs> this question is very uh, is an expert question. Um, if you want to get if you want to get a, a actually if you want to get a, a detailed answers, uh, please, please please put down your contact information and we'll get back to you. Like what are included in the in the iMaster NCE campus report generation methods. We'll provide a, a detailed list for you. Okay. And um oh, oh there's one more question. Uh, hopefully we get uh we can get every question covered. So uh, the question is asking iMaster NCE is only for access and core domains. Yes, uh, NCE dash, trans dash transport is using is used for the use for the access and and transmission domains. That's NCE dash transport, NCE dash T, and we are NCE dash campus. That's like two different products under iMaster NCE. Yeah, I think that's the all the question I have.
Yeah, let's thank Miss Sim for sharing more details about this. Okay, now let's go on to the next part. We will, yes, wait a moment, I will show you. Okay, now, now we are going to select four or five lucky participants who will be rewarded. Now? Yeah, finally. Can, yeah, that's right. Yeah, when I see, uh, when I start the timer, you have three minutes to complete the following two steps to win the rewards. Step, step one, you can scan the QR code to enter the community activity post. Step two, leave a message, join the webinar phase 47. The first one, fifth, 10th, and the 15th, and the last one user who left the comments will be awarded. Okay, guys, let's three, three, two, one, go. Now, step one, you can select this QR code to enter the form post. Step two, comment with join the webinar phase 47. Okay, you only have 20 seconds. Okay, time's up. Now let's look at this. Now next, you can go to the community post to join the form QA competition and you can check the winner, la winner list on the activity post. Okay, now you can see this is the activity post and we have three questions here and you can answer them, okay, answer them in the uh, comment area and uh, you will I hope you will be the winner. Okay. Now next you can see there are two QR codes. Scan the QR codes on the left. Scan the left side to learn knowledge or seek the seek for technical help in the RS form. Okay, this one. And uh, you can scan the QR code on the right side to will playback material for this session. Okay. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. Now, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.